Matthias Arndt and we're currently in Melbourne in the second edition of our pop-up show entitled Migration. We are in a rather unconventional setup here. Actually this space feels more like Berlin in the 1990s when we started our venture there. The abandoned spaces of a former blind school and offices on 557 St. Fielder Road by the way. We have a Belgian beer pub downstairs, we have a former ballroom called Almond Hall. In the show, running till December 15th, you will find about 90 works of 30 international artists coming from China, Europe, Great Britain, France, Indonesia, the Philippines and many other regions of the world. Migration Melbourne is actually the second edition of this pop-up project that started in Sydney in March and ran till June this year. On a surface of about 600 square meters, we show 90 works of 30 international artists. Emerging artists like Mathieu Briand from France or Gregor Hildebrand from Berlin until the very established artists like Gilbert and George, Georg Baselitz, Joseph Beuys. In addition to contemporary art, which we show in all mediums, photography, painting, sculpture, installation, but also film. Downstairs in Ormond Hall, a film by Julian Roosevelt, one of the leading filmmakers. Uh, in Europe. We also introduce the medium of design. We will have, you will see furniture from the 1960s from Italy. You will see uh, dresses by the fashion designer Costas Mokudis in Berlin and artist jewelry by Wim Delvoix, Kendall Gears and Janis Cornelis. Feedback by press and the general audience was quite overwhelming. We had visitors who said they live in Melbourne since 50 years and have never seen this space, but we also get many positive and motivating remarks on saying like that a show of that caliber hasn't been up in Melbourne for a long time, except maybe in a museum or in a biennial or festival context. If you want, then Migration Melbourne is also a mini biennale or mini art fair if you want, because it is a commercial show that's very important. We bring this work from all, from all over the world to Australia to be exhibited, to be seen, but also um, as a selling show and to introduce new work to this part of the world and place these works in museums, private collections and public collections.